Hey guys, so I have a another mukbang today. This one is pretty big and awesome. So it's like an Olive Garden copycat type mukbang. Um, I didn't want to go out and get Olive Garden because I knew I could make it myself. Um, it might not be as good as Olive Garden, but whatever, close enough. So on the menu for today, I do have some breadsticks. And then the main dish, which is the fettuccine alfredo. And then I have their salad, which I did try making the salad. I will put it, the recipe that I used down below in the description box in case you guys want to try it out. And then I have the Olive Garden dressing for the salad. I have some Parmesan cheese to sprinkle on everything pretty much. And then also I got these like little cinnamon pull apart twist things for dessert. Um, I'm just gonna, well, we'll take the thumbnail first and then close that up. So let's get this thumbnail going. I'm so excited, guys. Right, guys. Oh my gosh, I am so hungry. I can't wait. So let's get this salad going. I already kind of tossed it. So there is. Obviously lettuce, um, onions, croutons, tomatoes, and then of course the pepperoncinis. Um, so yeah, let me get this in this bowl. And then I'm gonna put some of the Olive Garden dressing. I just got this at the store. Um, and they had it there, so I'm going to pour that in. Oh my god, I don't know how much. It's probably a lot. <laughs> Let me mix it around. Oh, I got a plastic fork too, just so my teeth don't scrape against the metal. And I know it's kind of annoying to hear metal clinking against metal. So, mm, guys, this set looks so good. Look. Looks so delicious. And then I have my Parmesan cheese. Just gonna sprinkle some of that on. I really like cheese, guys, so. Alright, there's the salad. I'm gonna lid the dressing back up. And I'm gonna close the dessert because I'm gonna eat that after everything. Alright, so let's get this situated here. There's the breadsticks. Let's try a breadstick first. Mm. Mm. These were like a dollar from Walmart. And it came with like eight of them. And then to drink, I do have a Coke. Try some of this pasta. The noodles are like so soft. Okay. Oh, let me put some cheese in. delicious. Mm. Wow. Really good. wanting these exact three things for the longest time guys mm. Mm. my mom would be so disappointed in me but I did use canned fettuccine alfredo well alfredo and um 
Because guys, I'm not good at cooking and I do not have the patience to make sauce. Oh, it was so sweet and she helped me with everything, so shout out to my mom. <laughs> okay. I really want to try this. Mmm. 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 That is really delicious. I'm going to get a crouton. Where's the porcini? Mm. So delicious. I'm so hungry, guys. I've been like dreaming of this all day. You guys like fettuccine alfredo? <clears throat> I know it's not really polite to eat your noodles like that, but I'm not bougie enough to twirl them. <laughs> That pepperoni is so good. I should have made like four breadsticks, but I probably wouldn't have been very healthy. <laughs> be a good thumbnail too. I feel like Trisha Paytas making this thumbnail. Mm. I don't know why this cheese is kind of hard. Delicious. I haven't been able to post any mukbangs or videos in general because my mom's computer disc is full so she has to like delete some stuff or transfer it to a, another disc so that's why.
lately, me and my boyfriend have been thinking about traveling to another city in my state. Um, and honestly, it's really stressful. <laughs> we are, we're just young and have never done it before. Like, we've traveled before and gone on airplanes, gone on buses, gone um, to different states, cities, like whatever. He's been to different countries. So we've done all that, but with the help of our parents. Like, they've always been with us or we've been with, excuse me, we've been with family. So now that it's just us going, it's like challenging it is a challenge guys because i don't know when your parents do it for you it seems so easy and just like you just do what they tell you to do but when you should do it yourself it's like you have to think of so much and i have like so many questions and i just don't even know where to start half the time i mean it's like exciting because we get to go somewhere but it's like there's so much involved in it and we're both 18 and it's like the they might not even rent to us because we're 18 so hmm and also our moms like my mom and his mom they're still like kind of on the fence about letting us go which is understandable but I don't know <laughs> I was surprised they even like didn't say no I was like oh we have dads too but um I don't know if this is like what it is like for you guys but well, a lot of people I know, it's like the mom is in charge pretty much. So, like, you don't really ask your dad anything. You just ask your mom because she's, like, makes the rules. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's a lot of families, though. And then probably a lot of families, the dad makes the rules. But we're going because in a, a month, it'll be our three-year anniversary. I always feel weird saying anniversary, but it's really not that long, only three years. But we just thought it'd be fun and that we're old enough now, like, where we can do this kind of thing. Um, it would just be fun, you know? And we don't have, like, full-time jobs yet. We just have part-time jobs, so it would be easy to just leave. But... I found that there is lots of roads in the bumps with this plan because uh, there's just so many. For one, my boyfriend is already leaving to California for a concert or something the weekend before we wanted to go. So it kind of looks bad on him at his job, you know? So, and I only wanted to go for, I originally wanted to go for three days, and now I'm like, okay, I'm going to just go for two, and now he wants to go for one, and I'm like, what do you mean one? Like, that's so lame. Like, there's not even any point in getting a place to stay at if we're going for only one day, like, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Um. <clears throat> Whoa, I need to chew the noodles. <laughs> um, we just want to go somewhere up north. Um, just somewhere with nicer weather where it's like pretty and we can maybe like go on a hike or something. And that's what I'm, that's what we wanted. Um, so we started out looking at cabins up north, 
more than Arizona. But, oh my god. I don't know if you guys have ever stayed in a cabin. I never have before. This is probably why. But it literally looks like the perfect setting. Like, Flagstaff cabins. Literally looks like the perfect setting for a murder story. Like, it just looks like a scary movie would be <clears throat> plotted there. They are so scary looking. It looks like it would smell like an old lady's house. Like, there would be bed bugs. And I don't know. That's just, to me, it's just not enjoyable. I guess I had different thoughts of what a cabin was. I guess I was thinking more like modern. Modern cabin. Very nice. Like, elegant. I don't know. Just something. I just had a whole different scenario in my head but in reality it's like antlers on the wall and green carpet and lots of wood i know it's a cabin but i just oh yeah it's just it's, there's so many that were so hideous i was like who is staying here mm. So, I guess I'm not a cabin girl, so we had to think outside the box. My boyfriend, he's totally fine with it. He didn't think there was anything wrong. And I showed him, I was like, you don't think there's anything wrong with this image, like the image of the room? And he's like, no. Oh my god, guys, you should have seen me. It literally, there's like this movie Insidious, I think. Well, I don't know. It's like, my brother showed me a clip of it one time. There's like these girls... And it's this really long hallway and they like, I don't know, it's just this whole thing. And I'm like, dude, literally looks like we would be murdered in this cabin. <laughs> but he's really nonchalant and he just doesn't really care about a lot. So he's like, no, we'd be fine. I'm like, oh. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh. And, one, and then one of them had a freaking outhouse. Like, there was no bathroom inside. I'm like... I really did not think I was asking... Well, I didn't think I was asking for a lot. With, like, the image that I had pictured in my head. Oh, yeah. And these cabins run from, like, 150 up to, like, 350. I'm like, what? You can stay at such a nice hotel for 300 a night. And here it's just, like... I'm like really that's how much you're paying for that so now we're thinking about going somewhere a little less up north not so high up there because honestly I'm not a big person I'm not like a big fan of the cold um I don't really like the snow I'm just not a big fan honestly so I thought Oh, wait, we can go to Sedona. But he's kind of annoyed at this point because I've changed the city like four different times. And every day I change my mind more and more. It gets closer to the time because like I said, it's only a month away. It's actually less than a month away now. It's like 28 days away, so. Mm. We're just very new at the whole thing and a lot of it doesn't make sense. I do really want to go though. So does he. It's just it's really hard to understand the transportation. Because if it's too up north, we can't drive because it's just not safe. I... Mm -mm. Which... That's what both of our moms said. And it does make sense why they would say no to driving. Because it's just not safe. And of course, riding in a bus is not glamorous. But... I 
I don't know if this is like a whole um, like worldwide thing, but the buses in Arizona are especially not glamorous because there just always has to be like a nutso on the bus and they're just going crazy or doing weird things in the corner of the bus and it's just like oh, makes you feel uncomfortable. I've never actually, well, <laughs> I've been on like a bus, like a transit, I think they call them, or like a shuttle bus where it's like taking you to a specific location. And then I've been on the light rail. If you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much like a bus, but it's like the mix between a train and a bus. It's a light rail. Um, but I've been on the light rail, but I've never been on a train or like a city bus or just like a bus bus I don't know I've been on either of those so I don't know it's very confusing to the bus ticket situation very confusing I get to get off and on, pay a certain fee for one stop, and then and then it doesn't tell me if it ever comes back. It just says, oh, it'll be $50 to get there. And then I'm like, well, how much does it cost to get back? Like, I don't know. Just, it would be much more fun if I knew what I was doing, but I don't. And it's also hard to look for a place because some of them have a minimum amount of time that you can stay there, and we don't fit the minimum, so. Mm -hmm. But. My perfect scenario of how this is going to go would be would be me and my boyfriend drive to Sedona or a city that is beautiful and cooler. We um spend the night have a nice dinner and then the next day we go hiking or some outdoor activity and then that same day after we're done doing the activity we get lunch or something and then we come back to the city we live in because we do have school the next day that'll be my perfect scenario and i feel like that's not a lot to ask for but apparently it is apparently so, I guess when the time comes, I'll let you guys know how it went, if it did, if anything even happened. I really don't know if we will be doing all of this, because I've had this idea in my head for about like five days, and it's very stressful. I know it shouldn't be stressful, but it is. And also, because the longer we wait, the higher the price is, and, and also the less avail availability there is. Oh, another thing. My boyfriend doesn't want to take, t oh yeah, I told you guys that. He doesn't want to take two days off because he's already taking two days off the week before that. So it kind of looks bad for him. But... I need two days. We can't just go over one. <laughs> Hello. So yeah. This will be our first trip ever together. So I don't know.
we'll just have to see how it goes, I guess. <clears throat> I really do hope it works out, though. Because I personally think it'd be really fun. Um, sorry. To get to travel with him. Even though we're, like, just traveling to another city in our state. Um, it's just... I'm sure it's like this in every other state too, but it's just completely different from the west side of Arizona and the south side. I mean the north side. Yeah. So I live in the southwest and we want to go north. So it's like completely, it's, everything's different about the two. Like everything's different. Especially the climate obviously because west and north. Oh, the climate's going to be different, but... Sedona, I mean, it gets cold, but it's not like Payson or Greer or anything like that. And I originally wanted to go to a place where it's like freezing and snowing, but I'm not about that life. <laughs> this whole time <laughs> I'm not trying to complain I'm just trying to portray my situation and it is a dumb thing to complain about because it's like it's supposed to be a happy thing but I don't know everyone has their issues no actually what's a bigger issue for me is my 35% in math can you guys believe that Okay, so the camera is going to die soon, so I'm just going to try and wrap this up. I'm super stuffed. I definitely enjoyed this, so there's that. I'm going to try and get this stuff out of the way so I can try these. Okay. I don't know why I think it's going to be any better today because I did have some of these little cinnamon pull-apart things yesterday. And they were disgusting. They tasted like cardboard with cinnamon, but I'm going to try and go from the middle. Yeah, because this is honestly probably going to go in the garbage if the middle is not good. It smells good, but it tastes like cardboard. Hmm. The middle is definitely better. The outsides were just like crispy and burnt. It's still not that great though, but... My cheap butt got it on clearance from Walmart. So I really don't know what I expected. Because it was like... <clears throat> it was about to be like... um, What's that word? Oh, expired. So. It was like discounted by $4. Which I hope when it wasn't expired, it was better tasting. I was like continue to eat it. Mm. Pretty good. It's not horrible. Okay guys, so that will wrap up this Olive Garden copycat mukbang. Um, it was really delicious and I will definitely be sure to leave that link for the salad down below so you guys can try it out. Um, it was really good and it tasted so similar to the Olive Garden thing. I'm not really sure that that's because I had the dressing or what. I'm pretty sure all Italian dressing tastes very similar so I don't really know if that would have made a huge difference but the dressing was very delicious as well. But yeah, that will be the end of this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching guys.